Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of my Football Manager 2013 series. This episode will be taking on CFR Cluj in the Champions League group stage. This is the last Champions League group stage match before uh, the competition then moves on to the knockout stages. As you can see by the league table, uh, we're sitting in third. Valencia and Galatasaray are playing each other next as well. So as, as long as we get a win, then I think... Uh, you know, we'll be alright. The fact that we're playing against Cluj as well, and they are bottom of the league, is uh, is also a good good omen. Um, it's better. I'd, I'm happy I'm playing Cluj instead of having to play Valencia instead, which uh, I think we should get a good result against Cluj. Haven't been in the best form lately, but, you know, there's no time like the present to, uh, to try and change that, really. Um, in terms of... Oh, we had that bid rejected. Day on. Right, we'll just uh, do a press conference. Not gonna comment. We want to bounce back with a win. We've got an excellent chance. Um. Right. Okay. I think Tottenham and Reading are playing. Uh, Tottenham and QPR, sorry, uh, that is the quarter-final of the Capital One Cup. Tottenham wins 3-2 against QPR. What's this? Oscar is among a group of players tatted to win the European Golden Boy Award. Nice, and Hazard as well. I'll have a look at these two players who are also nominated for it. Rodrigo. Rikey. Get a scout report on him, I think. We're getting closer and closer to the transfer window. I'm looking forward to uh, to when we have an Asmavengas after Falcao as well. Um, more of the clubs are interested. Mm, just Arsenal. Alright, is there anyone that I can sell? Uh... Nope. Nope. I'll see if I can try and talk to the board and see if they'll create extra funds available. Oh shit, don't want to talk to the squad. Boardroom, here we go. Right, I've got an idea. Before I do that, Right, wage budget. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm gonna see if I can make my wage budget as small as I can, because it might increase the chances. Come on, please. Yes. Awesome. Well, a bit of extra money, which uh, how much will that translate into? Still won't be enough to get Falcao, but you know what I mean. <laughs> We got twenty twenty four million pound really, we'll round it up by fifty thousand. Right. Okay, I think Arsenal have got more well, I think Arsenal have got the, the funds there ready to uh to offer if they wanted to. And Floriente's contract will be um will be kind of unprotected soon so I'll be able to offer him a contract. Uh, we'll be cheeky. We'll offer seven point five. <laughs> if they accept it I'll be uh, I'll be surprised but um right in terms of starting line morale is getting low or shall I say lower uh, might have a few change arounds in the team as well, I think. Center. Not quite how, sure how long she calls it injured for still. Four to six weeks. Shit. It's not ideal. 
Ivanovich. Do Lampard. Uh, Hazard will be on the bench. We'll give uh, Sturridge the chance. Um, is there anything else? By the looks of it, I think that's everything. So, uh, starting for us today will be Czech, Bertrand, Terry, Cahill, Ivanovic, Lampard, Ramirez, Sturridge, Mata, Oscar and Torres. And obviously on the bench we'll have Ross Turnbull, David Luiz, Mikel, Moses, Hazard and Jordan Ayew. So, I think this is a good good starting lineup. Just uh, have a look at Sturridge quickly. Inside forward, we'll give that a go. Oscar, what's his? Inside forward, attack midfield, advance playmaker. Right, instead we'll have storage winger inside forward and then matter. Advanced playmaker. Right, we'll give him advanced playmaker. And Torres. What is his <laughs> what's his good at? Complete forward. Kind of all, all three equal really, so I think we'll just have him as um advanced forward. Um I think we'll, we'll we'll leave it that right like that for now, and then we'll add more uh, add more or change certain roles in the starting lineup as the match progresses, and obviously through the season, haven't really been incorporating the inside forwards and the the ball to ball midfielder and advanced playmaker, and because I never really kind of fully understood. Uh, not all, not the best thing to say to players. Um, haven't really used all the inside forwards, advanced playmakers, things like that, because I never really understood what they were and what their individual roles were and what st what statistics were the main things for uh, for a player to do well in that position. But Ivanovic seemed motivated and Sturridge and players who looked happy: Torres, Mata, Oscar, Lampard, Ramirez, Bertrand, and Cahill. So good team talk. And then we've got to do the business. <coughs> Bertrand with throw. Good cross. Oh. And they clear it. I would pronounce some of their names, but some of their names are just uh, <laughs> crazy. Good cross. Oh, how the hell did that score? Oh, it, it won't count. See, I've noticed we, we're conceding a lot when uh, the opposition's players cross the ball in from, like, round about this area and there, where my mouse is. I'm not quite sure why. It, it never really seemed a problem before, but now it seems to be, like, the main part where we get exploited, which, oh, Lampard, oh, hit the post. Terry, oh, and they got a free kick, Oscar looked motivated and story seems fired up so, so far, players aren't um, getting downhearted, hopefully morale can really be boosted after this match, we can get a good result, matter with a free kick, oh, damn it, goal kick, back to the keeper and we're going to another highlight, Bertrand's been yellow carded, Cross it in, clear it, yes. Right, hit him on the break. Oscar to Torres. Torres is running it. Go on, Torres. Go on. Oh. Good save. Mal with the corner. Whips it in. Yes. John Terry. First goal of the season as well. Good corner from Matter. Terry was pretty much completely unmarked. And, uh, 
be able to head it into the back of the net. So the way things stand right now in terms of the league. Oh, Torres. Oh, from a tight angle gets a gets a deflection off the post. That would have been some goal. As things stand right now, it'll be uh, Galatasaray will qualify through first. We'll qualify through second, and Valencia and Cluj will miss out. But we'll uh, we'll keep up to date on what's hap Oh shit! We'll keep up to date on what's happening in in the uh, the group at half time because obviously we're not even halfway through the first half yet. So far, not not doing too bad in terms of uh, match stats. Oh, Lampard's been injured. In terms of opportunities we're dominating, which is good. Uh, oh, right. Let's get Lampard off. And we'll bring John Open McKellen, you know. Hopefully you'll be able to uh to do the job. Hopefully Lampard won't be out injured for a long time because he is a, a quality player that I do like and who I, I will use. Torres, good pass to Matter. Go on, Matter, just run with it. Smash it. Oh, lovely. Not quite sure how that ended up, but uh, very unselfish of Matter to uh, set Torres up. Good run. Oh, looks a bit like four defenders around him. Number seven just missed out on it. Not quite sure who number seven is. Uh, Ramirez, so Ramirez could have scored in theory, but uh, Torres was able to get it. Bertrand to Terry. Cahill. Ivanovic. Oscar, good pass to Torres. What can he do? Good save by the keeper. Torres is looking not not at his sharpest in this match, but he's looking. You know, he's, he's getting shots on target, which. Is the uh, the best thing, and Matt has picked up a knock. Oh man! Right, we'll substitute him off and get Victor Moses on. Half time, passionate, I think. Oh, not really a reaction there. Ramirez and uh, John Obi Mikel look happy. Torres looks happy, so that's all right. Okay, off the second half, we'll just have a look at the league table as well while we're at it. Galatasaray still winning their match. Where's the score? Two 0 to Galatasaray right now. Um, we're two 0 up. Crikey, Celtic and Bayern Munich two two. <laughs> Right, but so far the way things stand, we will qualify going through in the second place in the group. Gad Tasra will qualify in first place in the group if they can win against uh, Valencia. They're two 0 up, but so really they're in the same situation against uh, same situation as we are in in terms of your two 0 up in a match. Um, but I think they're against tougher opposition than what we are. So it's possible that they could lose their match, or if they draw their match, that would be uh, the best thing for us, really, because then we would go through to the knockout stages um, in first first place, and then obviously get drawn against. Uh, I think it would be like a. Mind you, no, no. I think you get drawn against whoever in the Champions League. Good pass, very nice. Very nice move there. Mikel gets his first goal for Chelsea ever. Fantastic. Good pass by Oscar. Lovely pass by Ramirez. Fantastic. 3-0. Lovely. See, what I was hoping to, um, in terms of... Oh, they got a chance here. Oh, Bertrand's gave away a penalty. Damn it. At least he didn't get sent off, which that's an alright thing. And they score three one. Ideally I wanted to try and uh, qualify for the knockout stage of the Champions League as soon as I possibly could. So then I could, you know, feel like a not a B team, but a not a full strength squad. If 
for the rest of those matches. So obviously it saves the, my best players health-wise so they won't get injured and uh, give other players the opportunity as well. But so far things are going all right. 3-1 if they score again and then I might um, start to panic a little bit. But I think in terms of uh, how things are going, it's going all right so far. Um, we'll get Jordan there, you won. Tactics wise, Jordan AU. I'm going to try him as a poacher. And Victor Moses. Yeah. Right, okay. Last substitute of this match for us will be uh, Jordan Ayu coming on for Torres. Bertrand, De Sturridge, Jordan Ayu, Ramirez, good pass. Gets headed out to Ivanovic, straight into Oscar, good pass. <sighs> Lovely. That was nice. 4 1, very good. Ivanovic. Pass it into the box. Oscar. I think it gets a deflection off one of their players. And the Ramiro somehow gets on the end of it and just hooves it into the back of the net. That's awesome. Vanovic with a throw. Ramirez. Oh, they got possession. Oh, they're trying to hit us here on the counter. It's going to try and whip it in, I think. Oh, got a little bit greedy there. Uh, John Terry having a good game, 8.2. Free kick. Oh, good save. Can we clear it? Setting up for a shot here, I think. Go on, Sturridge, clear it. Back to check. Check hooves it up. We avoided danger on that one. I think this is probably going to be last last attack of the game. Good tackle by Ivanovic, Oscar. Back to Ivanovic. Cahill and Ivanovic are going just keep in possession. Terry, Bertrand, Moses to Mikel, and that's full time. Yeah! That was good. That was a good performance. I'm happy with that. Um, we'll go passionate. Everybody looks delighted, apart from Torres, which, uh, you know, usual. In terms of opportunities in the match, um, we had a lot more. I think, in theory, we could have scored probably at least one or two more goals, but I'm grateful with 4 1. That's still a very good score. Our passing was good 80%, tackling 80%, heading 66%. So that's not bad play, stats wise. Romero's got man of the match 8.5. Uh, John Terry 8.2, Sturridge 7.9, Mikel 7.4, and on their side, this guy 7.0, Il Chitu, probably not said that right, but he was the highest rated player on their side, well, joint highest rated player on their side with uh, Bukri, Buri, whatever his name is, but um, yeah, we'll have a look at the league table and see how that sets things up. And we'll also have a look at other league tables, um, not league tables, other group stages, group tables as well. Um, crikey, if, apparently if my players win the Champions League, we get over half a million each. Shit, that's a lot of money. How long is that? Uh, Lampard's only out for two to three days, so luckily it's nothing, uh, nothing too worrying. Right now, let's have a look at the 
group stage tables. In uh, Group A, the teams that have qualified are Zenit St. Petersburg and Real Madrid. Uh, Fenerbahce was a big team in that group that missed out. Uh, group B, Gatas Rod go through first, we go through second, Valencia missed out. Group C, Man City go first, Bayern Munich second, Celtic missed out in that group. Um, group D, Dormut and Sparta Librag, uh, they go through. AC Milan didn't get a single point in the group stage, which I think is very surprising. Bloody hell. Uh, group E, Juventus and Man United go through. Malaga and Shakhtar go out of that group. Uh, group F, Barcelona and Udinese go through. Shakhtar go out. Schalke, Shakhtar. <laughs> Uh, group G, Arsenal and FC Vazelou go through, uh, and let the Olympiacos go out of that group, which is surprising. I wouldn't have had that FC Vazelou going through, to be honest. I probably would have had like Olympiacos, but there's always surprises in Football Manager. And Group H, uh, Paris Saint-Germain and Porto go through, Dynamo and Ajax fail to qualify through that group, so... It's going to be interesting to see who we get drawn up against, um, but we'll have a we'll have a look at our next match. Bertrand's reached the yellow card limit. Fantastic. Uh, our next match is against Newcastle at home. Um, Newcastle are a good team. Um, not quite sure how they're doing in the league. We'll have a look and see. Now oh, they're above us, so this is. This is going to be an interesting match. Um, it's going to be a tough match, but I think it's a match that we can win. Um, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys for the game against Newcastle. Thank you for watching. Take care, guys.